everybody in this episode we are going to add a light here make sure that this or gate works and then connect them with this one so if you haven't done anything prior or missed the last one a link's pop it up above and you can click on that so let's jump in and start connecting this um, ps and pt now we labeled this one for so that's over here this is our and gate number four so we are looking for um pin 11 so and pin 11 and that is going to go to our or gate and this is we, we labeled this one number two so this is going to go to this one right here okay and gate 11 going to or pin or i'm sorry and pin 11 going to or pin 4. Okay, so pin 11. So here is kind of tough to tell them apart. So 8, 9, 10, 11. You can see there's nothing like really connected there. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm sorry. I am. Simulating that doesn't work now. I want to click on there. I said 11 to 4, right? Okay, and there's been four. One, two, three, four. There we go. I'll just put it right, right there. I'm going to change that color to uh, yellow. And then um let's see this is this is number five and that's right here so this is on our second and chip so pin three to pin five there okay so three here one two three five here one two three four five that works I'm gonna color that yellow also and and then so this is our our uh, output right here and so that is going to be pin six and then let's plug it into an LED so let's go I'm just gonna disconnect this one right here and say all right let's check Check it right there. So this is saying whenever PS or PT are turned on. So P, let me, forgot to hit start simulating. That helps. PS. There it is, PS or PT, yes. So PV it will not turn on. All right. And then if I do any other combination, it doesn't turn up. Okay, cool. It works so far and we have to like pause and, and you know, just double check. I, you know, we are checking between each one of these and that's why this exercise is taking so long and it's so many parts um, and so many videos. So that's good because if we were to just jump into this and we might have had a problem there, we're gonna have big problems. So now we have everything from the left of this yellow line works. So let's just plug in the right of this and we should be good. So um let's see. This is um we want to go from this uh or gate right there to an LED. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stop simulating and I'm going to unplug that wire right there. I'm going to unplug this wire right here. I'm going to unplug this wire right here. I'm just going to go to one of these LEDs. So this is saying that um, this is our OR gate one and I'm going to change the color so we can this is going to now be a blue, this is going to be all blue here. So 
this is going to be pin um so first gate first or gate this is pin three and it is going to go to our third chip over here i'm sorry our third gate and i'm going to plug that into 10. so it's on the same chip as you can see we're just going to jump over the top of it so three to ten so i'm going to go here i'm going to go three two eight nine ten i'm going to go right there i'm going to change that to blue because oh we're we're keeping it blue on the uh on the jam board and then we're going to go from this is or pin or gate two so now we have our output is oh i'm sorry earlier this is our output is six so there we are right there okay so six Six will go to nine. So six to nine over the top there. I'm gonna change that to blue also. And then finally, our output is this is our final output. So this is gonna be an eight on our ore chip. So we're gonna go from an eight over here on down and I'm going to make that blue. Okay, so according to all of this, it should work according to our truth table. So the lights should r turn on um, at 7 and then 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So let's check it. So there's 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, Three. There's four in binary. Five, six, six, and seven. There it goes. It works. Eight should turn off. There it goes. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We did it. It works. One of the reasons it works is because we paused at each one of these sections and we tested it. So, um, great job. Another thing we can do is we can click on this component list. We can see all of the things that we need. Uh, we can, of course, kind of clean up the wires a little bit. Um, if you have a board like this, it might be a little bit easier to even build yet um, because, of course, we don't have these wires and these LEDs are right there. We have it right on the switchboard. So great job, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to comment.